Hello crafty family and welcome to my shop with me at Dollar Tree video. Now so many of you have asked about the Dollar Tree stores in my area so today I will be visiting eight Dollar Tree stores and we'll be checking out their Christmas items, some new finds, decor, and craft supplies. Now to all of my subscribers and visitors today I want to say hey hey and then I'm so excited to bring you along with me so let's go ahead and jump right into the shopping. Now we're off to Dollar Tree store number one. So here are all of the Christmas items in this store. They're kind of getting ready for the holidays. There are a little bit of empty spots in here, but they do have a pretty good variety of Christmas items out. Now some of the new items that I spotted were these like acrylic plastic looking deer with a little shimmer on them. I thought those were super cute. Now another new item to me are these little stars with the little bells on them. And then they have these little owls. I love these owls. Now these are from last year, but they also had these little covered ornaments with little deer. They had some with little stars on them and those are definitely new to me. Now on the other wall, they had all of their wood items out, you know, the houses and the words, and these are out from year to year. And they also have a variety of their plastic ornaments out as well. Now, one of the new ornaments that I noticed were these white ones. I haven't seen those before. And of course, the one that's left had the little piece broken off. But those would be fun to craft with. Now, they're just starting to get their flowers out as well on this wall. And I love to have the pine cone bundles. But Dollar Tree can be a little bit excessive with the glitter. And I choose to get the ones without the glitter for my decor. Now, they do have a variety of poinsettias. They have some white, gold, red, um, some really cute assortments for your arrangements for your holiday decor. In the party section, look what I just spotted, you guys. These little candy bowls. I know people have been looking for them, but they are popping up at Dollar Tree. So just keep your eyes open. Now, these are fun to craft with. And I made these little lanterns with them. So if you happen to spot them, make sure you give that DIY a try. Now, near the front of the store, they had these cute buffalo check items. They had mugs, some little hand towels, and they also had some pot holders and things, and also these little black and white baskets. Now, I'm in the middle of a craft room, a renovation, so I'm always looking for storage. And you guys, they had some leftover Halloween things. Now, if you see these little containers, I have done some DIYs with these, such as these little containers as shown here. Really easy to do. I've also painted them and gave them a look, an enamel chipping look as well. And those boxes come in handy for those as well. And look, my Dollar Tree seems to always have the tumbling tower blocks in stock ever since I placed my online order. Isn't that how it works? But they had plenty on the shelves. And in their other wood section in the crafter square, they have these little containers. I love these little crates to craft with. They're so much fun. They have a star and a round cutout in them. And then they had an assortment of that vinyl. Now my Dollar Tree only had the glitter vinyl on hand. Now in the hardware section, grab some of these zip ties. These are such a great deal. I use these all the time in crafting and they're much less expensive than the hardware store. And the super glue, I love this two pack right here when I need super glue, this is my go-to. But check this out, they have an epoxy set now. I have never seen this before, this is new to me. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these and try them out. Leave me a comment below if you've tried this and how it worked for you. Now on to the glass section. They have these containers. Now the Dollar Tree always have a cute assortment of containers. I love these little jars here, super cute. 
Now they also have a variety of stemware. The holidays are coming up, so the stemware will probably be starting to disappear off your shelves. Now I always love these little storage containers, but my favorite are these little square ones with the acrylic clear lids. And I use these in my bathroom for cotton balls and, and Q-tips, so much fun to decorate and use there. And these have been around for a while, but I love the design on these little jars too. And if you're a crafter, you guys know why I'm here. I'm gonna grab a couple of these plungers for the dowel handles. I always try to grab a few when I go. The wood dowels are so much cheaper than going to the hardware store to get them. So I always grab a couple of those. Now on to dollar store number two. And if you notice in the window, this is a Dollar Tree Plus store now. So here's the Christmas wall inside this store. They're starting to get all of their Christmas decorations in order, and they seem to be in more stock than the last Dollar Tree. Now, one of the neat finds that I found here is this Holly and Jolly Christmas ornament. I think this is absolutely adorable. I love the rustic look of it. And these little crisscross skis are super cute as well. Perfect for Christmas ornaments or for a tiered tray decor. And then they had these little teeny houses in the red and black buffalo check and the black and white buffalo check with little pine cone looking roofs on top, super cute. And these are um, in Dollar Tree every year, but I just love the design of this with the little frosted effect. I always grab a few of those every year. I just think that they really do look high end. And the Dollar Tree snowflakes are always in stock. I try to grab a pack of, of each size that they have. They have three sizes and I grab the small and the medium ones. I always love to have these on hand during Christmas season. And check these out. These little Chanel wrapped bulbs are super cute. I can totally see you making a snowman out of these. Oh, and how adorable. They have this little ballerina in that same plastic um, clear plastic and I'm not too uh, a fan of that little furry skirt I'm sure you could take that off but these are so adorable and I found the little mini uh, Christmas um, skirts that they have in the metal they have a red metal one and a galvanized looking metal one these are cute for the little Dollar Tree trees and then I found the um, candy cane wreaths. Now this year they are a little smaller than previous years, but definitely still something you would um, be able to craft with. And they have these little bows. I hadn't seen these before. Very cute. They have them in red and black and white and black. In the wood section, they have this cute truck with the Christmas tree on top. It's fun to paint. Of course, they have the gingerbread houses, but this is new to me. They had these cutouts and they have Christmas trees, bulbs, bells, and stars. If you wanted to paint these or even stain them, you can even use a cutting machine to put wording or draw wording on them. And then they have the snowflake and stars and all the worded ones. And then the little Christmas containers at the bottom. So fun to use in crafting. Now these are new to me. These are little wreaths. One says peace and then they have another one with a truck and a tree. I've never seen these before so these are really cute too. Now here's something new that I've never seen. They have some lighted uh, LED lights that actually look like ribbons. So the lights are wrapped around this ribbon. Now this one is in a silver color. I've never seen these before but this is interesting so I'm going to pick one of these up for my crafting. And check it out, you guys. This Dollar Tree has more of the candy bowls. So yes, keep your eyes open. They are out there. Now, I also had some of these trifle bowls. Now, I have used these in my DIYs before as well. Now, what I made with this is one covered with some tumbling tower blocks as shown here. This is a really easy project. And I've also covered one with the Dollar Tree sun hats and gave it an ombre look. 
Now this Dollar Tree does have a Dollar Tree Plus aisle. Now it starts off with a lot of storage items, hooks, bins, and things like that. But I am a fan of all of the wood items. All of the wood items seem to be larger than the normal Dollar Tree items. And I love the boxes and the little bins that they have. Also, they have a lot of boxes for jewelry or trinkets, bird houses and crates. So much, so much wood that you can work with in your crafting. Now, my favorite thing is this wood slat tray. This is actually a pretty good size. It's only $5 and this is one of my favorites. Now, they also have another tray that's more shaped like a serving tray, but this one is good as well. Perfect, it'd be beautiful stained and maybe monogrammed with a name to give as a gift. Now, they do have some toy cars as shown here, but they also have these plaques. Now, this is an arched plaque, nice and thick with a nice um, routed and beveled edge. They have them in round two, and my store didn't have the round ones, just the arched ones, but it's super cute. Now, one little find that I saw is this box here. Now, this has a picture insert on the front, and you can open it up and put keepsakes in here. How cute would that be for a Christmas gift to customize? Now I did find some of the LED candles and these seem to be uh, taller and skinnier than the normal ones that I'm used to seeing. And then I also found more of those square frame. Now I use these for my um, racetrack lanterns. As you notice, these are the ones that I use to design it. They also have some rectangular ones, but these are also great for other projects as well. Now they also had some wood and I did find these hanging planks. Now I know that I've seen these before in a video. I'm not sure who had them, but I thought they were larger than this. But I did see these hanging planks that you could craft with as well. And I took a trip over to the cleaning section, the mop head. You have to get this microfiber mop head. There's so many crafts that you can make with that as well. Now, as you know, I created my snowman with one of the mop heads. Also, I've made the candy cane wreath with it. I've made the jumping deer with it as well. Now, you can also make pillow covers, and I just adhered this to a piece of fabric, and placemats. So, there's so much you can do with the mop head. Now, on to dollar store number three. Now here is the Christmas wall in this store. Now one thing that I really love every year is this deer here. It's a nice good size and it comes with a lot of detail. I really love that one. I also love these trees. I love the fact that they come in a pack of two and these are really good quality. Now on the other wall with all of their wood items, they have a selection of different wood cutouts and trinkets. Now new to me are these deer antlers. Now, I've never seen these and these are in white, but they also come in gold and silver. And they also have the MDF letters. I never get there in time to get all the letters that I need, but they do have those if you're interested in those. And they also have a reindeer, a snowman, and a Santa Claus MDF figure that you can decorate. I think this would be so much fun to do with the holidays. And check this out. This die cut truck framed is amazing. It is such good quality for only a dollar. And check out Santa. They have a segmented Santa. And this comes in one full piece. You just decorate, paint it how you like, and hang it up. And check it out, I found two more colors of that lighted ribbon. They have it in green and red as well as the silver. Now right around the corner, they have all their galvanized metal. They have a large selection at this Dollar Tree. I love the tags. The tags are fun to craft with. They also have this family galvanized sign as well. I'm sure there's other words, but this store only had family. Now they also have the flat metal pieces. They have this oval shaped one. They've got the talking bubble. They've got clouds, tulips. They even have an arched sign style. So many different varieties to choose from. They also have your standard truck, arrows and hearts as well. 
And then peeking below, they have these little metal containers. I think that these are adorable, perfect for small thing organization. Now this has a star cut out on the end, but they do have some with a round cut out. Now at the end of that aisle, they had the flower picks. Now I have to say, this is probably one of my first things to pick out when I come to Dollar Tree. And this year they did not disappoint. They had some really good quality picks this year, a little bit overboard with the glitter in some cases, but still a good idea for decorating. And of course the cobblestone collection is back with all of the trees and the little uh, light posts and people and they also have a selection of different types of houses which is fun to decorate with now i've crafted with these before in the past and i ended up painting all of my houses white and then i added some string lights inside Now this Dollar Tree also had all of the self-adhesive tiles. Now if you recall, I did make a DIY with some of these silver tiles as well. And this store had a very large variety of all of the different styles in stock. Now here are the different designs that I made with the silver tiles. And all I did was paint and distress them and frame them. And this is how they turned out. Now on down the aisle, they had these little houses. I have not seen these before in any of my Dollar Trees. Now they had one in a white color and then they had one in a wood tone color. Now these are MDF and not wood, but I think they would be good to DIY or even use as they are because they are super cute. And new to me are these signs here. I think they're so gorgeous. Look at this. They have one in home with a little wreath on it and they had one with love with a little wreath on it. I'd never seen these before, but they are adorable. And then further down that aisle, they had all of the tiles. I'm telling you, this store really keeps their tiles in stock. And don't forget, grab one of those carpenter squares from the utility aisle section because you need those for your tumbling tower blocks. And you want to also grab some of these Milwaukee blades for your utility knives. Now Milwaukee is a high-end brand, so if you have a utility knife with these types of blades, grab them up. And I came across these little soap pumps. How cute. They have them in a snowman, Santa Claus. They have a gingerbread man and a Christmas tree. These are perfect to sit out for the holidays. When you have guests over, you can put one in each bathroom. I just think that they're really cute. Now on to Dollar Tree number four. And here's the Christmas wall at this store and they're just now starting to put things out as you see by all of the boxes. Now one of the boxes was open but I did see this really cute snowman with a little hat on. I think that one is super cute. And then the other wall with all of the other trinkets, all of the things that we have seen year to year. And this store has a huge variety of tins, any kind of tin for gift giving, they have it at this store. Now I didn't see these gather signs last fall or these gather placemats. I missed out on them, but they did happen to have a few lying around in their Christmas section. And then their floral section is fully stocked with all kinds, but this bag, stuck out to me how gorgeous is this wreath on here it honestly looks so real so i had to grab one now onto the crafting section they do have the box of wood pieces that everybody is picking up they have little signs and little pieces i prefer to get my wood from the home depot and cut it into the size that i need but if you don't have means to cut it this is a good idea and you guys check out these gift boxes now if you see these gift boxes wrap them up they are such a really good size that they are decorated so nicely either for birthdays anniversaries holidays whatever you may want but i personally love to use these in crafting now i use this to make the little boxes on my pottery barn dupe shelf here And I also made a four tier craft shelf here.
Now down the aisle, they had the wallpaper pieces. Now the Dollar Tree's closer to me did not have these, but the ones further out did. They had the variety of the foil ones and the wallpaper ones. And I've been looking for these wallpaper pieces for a while. And I love this wood plank style. And then they had the knobs or let's say they didn't. Every time I get there, they're gone. So hopefully <laughs> I'll find them one time. Now in the glassware aisle, check these out if you see these jars grab them up they are such amazing quality these are nice and heavy duty and they have a like a brushed steel lid I am in the middle of a craft room renovation I am grabbing a few of these for my craft room now on to Dollar Tree and number five So here's the Christmas section in this store and there's a lot of things that we have seen before in the other stores. Now they have a pretty good stock of everything on the wall that you can choose from from what we've seen before. Now there is one thing that I saw that really stuck out. I haven't seen these before. These are some Buffalo Check large bulbs. Now they are covered in glitter. Come on Dollar Tree, Urgh, they have the glitter on them. So I wish they would just get rid of that glitter and leave it as paint because they would be adorable. And then they have these bells back. These are a year to year favorite. I love these ornaments, they're so cute. So they did have a few of the fall items still out and this plank right here, I have been looking for all season and they finally had it. You can use this year round, so I grabbed some of those. And then I saw a lonely galvanized pot sitting on there with the letter E on it that I could just remove with acetone and I'm gonna use that. I finally found the fall letters that I couldn't find all year and I could probably use a few of those and also the white pumpkins I couldn't find and here they are. And then the last thing I couldn't find was this leafy design. It looks like a wreath form. I picked one of those up as well. Now onto the craft section. These galvanized pieces are so high demand. This square right here is hard to find in my local store. So I grabbed a few of those perfect for crafting and you can cut those with a pair of sharp scissors. Now this store also had the peel and stick wallpaper and wall tile section. And look, they had a, a more variety here. So you have to go to multiple stores to find out what you need. So I'm really loving this brick right here. This looks so much modern, industrial. I think it would be cute for some projects in that field. So I'm going to get some of those. Now they also had this gold and white one. I love the design, very modern. So that would be cute in a DIY as well. Now, if you're into leafy designs, they had like tropical leaves, colorful leaves. They have this beautiful blue design. But what caught my eye was this wood design here on this peel and stick piece. Now on to dollar store number six. Now here's their Christmas wall in this store. It's looking a little shallow, but they are working on getting everything up. Now what caught my eye in this store are the gift bags. How beautiful is this foil print gift bag with the tree and also this joy sign. Perfect for gift giving or even framing it. Now I love this very Merry Christmas one. I can see cutting this one out and putting it on a tray. Now they also had these tinsel covered Christmas tree forms. I love these little trees to remove the tinsel and put rope or jute twine on them to give them a different look. And then along the other wall, they had a lot of the uh, other items that we always are looking for. But this guy here, the elusive snowman wreath form, this is the first Dollar Tree I've ever seen him at. So I am going to pick up one of these just to keep in my craft stash and I'm also going to grab one of these little stars. I haven't seen that before as well. So I'm going to grab that one too. And check it out. Look down below. They have more of the candy bowls. I just have to point this out. You guys, you just have to look and check it out in the small hidden corners. You may be able to find those as well. And they also carried those gift boxes too.
Now I haven't found these pocket containers anywhere, but this one Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna pick up a few for my craft room. And look, they have the planks hanging. I just knew that these were larger. I just had a feeling they were. So I did find the longer ones in this Dollar Tree. So just keep your eye out. If you're looking for the longer ones, keep looking. Now these are new to me. These are little signs. And one says, friends are life's greatest blessing. Home is where the heart is. They have another one that says, um, blessed with love and laughter. And then they have one more that says, love keeps us together. I think that these signs are so cute the way that they are. You could probably add some greenery if you want, but this is new to me. I've never seen these before. And these little jars have been around for a while too, but they are really cute to use in your home decor. Now I missed out on these this summer, but this Dollar Tree finally got them in stock. I love these for storing little things in my craft room. And if you haven't seen it yet, it does exist. This is the glue gun that the Dollar Tree carries. This would be nice to check out and maybe keep it as a backup to try out. Now on to Dollar Tree number seven. And now here is the Christmas wall in this store. Now this is one of the smaller Dollar Trees, but don't sleep on it. They might have some things that you are looking for as well. Now they did have a lot of the glass bulbs, but these are some of the largest glass bulbs that I have seen on my trip today. You don't see those in all the Dollar Trees. And then they also had these little containers that you can sort in a drawer. Now these are handy as well. And I'm looking for some of these for my craft room drawer. So I'm gonna grab some of those. And the elusive uh, in-wash beads. This is not a craft item, but there's a raving about these in-wash beads. Grab them if you see them. They smell amazing. Now, I love to use these craft hooks or these utility hooks in my crafts to hang boxes and things on. I knew they had these in a larger pack at one time, but you know, Dollar Tree is downsizing. But I am going to grab some for my stash. And you guys know I love to use these chopping mats for frosted windows and things like that in my lanterns. So I'm going to grab a few of those to stock up as well. Now on to Dollar Tree number eight. Now the Christmas wall in this store is nice and stocked. And as you can see, they have a good variety of Christmas items out on the floor. And then the, along the other wall, they have all your little trinkets, small bags, things of that nature, all of your little words. And then they had this little wreath. I've seen this little wreath all the time at the Dollar Tree. It seems like it comes out every year. And then they have a variety of antlers and headwear that you can wear for the holidays. And then these little boxes for Christmas. These are such good quality. They are hard sided boxes. I love using them in crafting and for decoration. And check out these little candle holders. They have them in a design of a little snowflake or a little star. They do have a glitter finish, but they are super cute. And I knew they had these utility hooks in a six pack, so I finally found them. And so I'm gonna grab them up. Now this comes to show, you just have to go to multiple Dollar Trees to find exactly what you're looking for. And then finally, the cookie pans. No other Dollar Tree had pizza pans or cookie pans. So I am gonna grab two of these for regular household use and also for a craft that I have in mind. Now I have made a craft before with these cookie pans and here is the tray. Listen, if you loved the shop with Dollar Tree, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite item was on this trip. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. Now make sure if you don't want to miss my next DIY video, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and be notified. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.